Hello everybody, this is Dr. Christopher White and welcome to the last part of Metamorphism and Fasces. So, okay, we finished on this diagram here that we're just essentially listing the different types of metamorphic rock. And we've discussed slates, phyllites, schists, gneisses and migmatites, marbles, quartzites, hornblends, and then obviously the other types are, you know, of lesser concern to us. So, did I say hornblends? I meant amphibolites. I meant horn fells and amphibolites. So the final couple of types of rock we're going to discuss are the more interesting ones. These are the ones associated with subduction metamorphism. So remember, high pressure, low temperature. There aren't a lot of minerals that like those conditions, so you can end up with some quite fun rocks. So this is one called a blue schist. Now this one's forming towards the top, where the oceanic crust is in contact with the continental crust. So blue schists have a basalt protolith. So this is the oceanic crust that's altering we're seeing here. They will form at depths typically in excess of 15 to 18 kilometers. And your temperature will typically have to be between 200 and 500 Celsius. So blue schists form uh, when the oceanic crust has gone down into the mid to lower lithosphere. So we're kind of, you know, halfway down, half, we're kind of halfway level with the crust. And so conditions are high pressure, but the temperature is still quite low. So the blue color comes from a couple of minerals. The first mineral is a mineral called glaucophane, which is an amphibole. Amphiboles, long slender crystals, you can make them align. And the second mineral is a mineral called kyanite. Kyanite forms bladed crystals. So they're quite, they're, they don't have much height to them, but they're quite slender and long so think of well just think of a blade of a knife really think in fact a good example would be my ruler if I can find it of course I can't find it so you're just gonna have to imagine what a blade of crystal looks like just think of a ruler okay not very not very thick but it has some width to it but it's you know elongate and so once again you can make those crystals align themselves and orientate themselves parallel to each other so blue schists will have a foliation Okay, so blue schist is a foliated rock, typically containing glaucophane and kyanite. Now, once our oceanic crust makes it into the deep man, well, makes it into the mantle, should I say, the pressure begins to become equal from all directions. So, number one, that kind of stops the formation of a foliation. The other thing is, is our blue schist will begin to break down, it will recrystallize, and it will form this rock, which is called an eclogite. So eclogites typically consist of two minerals, garnet, which is the red mineral, and what's called umphocytic pyroxene, or a mineral called umphocyte, okay, which is the green mineral. So the eclogite is formed when the oceanic crust enters the mantle. Depths of formation are typically in excess of 45 kilometers, and temperatures are typically in excess of 600 Celsius. So we have high temperatures, and so we have high pressures and relatively high temperatures. Okay, so obviously the fact that pressure is equal stops us forming our foliation. So we have the red garnet and the green umphocyte. So just to show you this, this is the final picture actually, and you can see this is a lovely example of a of a, a uh, an eclogite. You can see the green umphocyte, you can see the red garnet, but what you can see is we actually have lots and lots of small crystals of a blue phase. So this is the leftover kyanite, or uh, it probably is the kyanite, but it could be the glaucophane. So the kyanite and glaucophane are breaking down to produce the umphocyte. And so what you have here, you have the final bits of the crystals that haven't broken down yet to form the umphocyte. So you can just see this final stages of the blue schist, you know, breaking down to form this eclogite. And it's quite a nice bit of, uh, nice, quite, a, quite a nice sample to look at really to finish on. So uh, the one thing we haven't done actually is we haven't done the code word for this quiz, so we should really get that done now. So the code word for this quiz is based on mining, because I was reading a textbook earlier. And so the code word for this quiz is stoping. I say stoping. It's a, it's a mining technique. If you're interested in it, you know, take a second, find it on Google, have a quick read. You know, it's a very basic mining technique. So stoping is uh, S-T-O-P-I-N-G. Okay. Right, so stoping is the code word for this week's lecture, or for this lecture, should I say. And uh, that's it, everyone. You've done very, very well. I know there's lots of information, but you held on. 
and so hopefully we'll be able to continue this and we'll combine it with the uh, the rock lab we're going to do and we should bring everything together and hopefully you'll feel that you have a, a reasonable understanding of metamorphic rocks and also deformation as well all right everyone so take care and that's it